this week's telescope preview. Who okay. We need, who we need to go look for? This week I got three games. Um week four, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't find too many great matchups, but I'm always find three, four games for the people out there if they want to pay attention to. Mm-hmm. All right. So this week on the telescope, we got first game, we got Villa St. Joe's at Kinston. Um, last year they played twice. Play early in the year, Kinston whooped on St. Joe's. Mm-hmm. Um, end up playing in week 11 or week 12. Sorry, I don't want to put out bad information. I know it was week 11 or week 12. St. Joe's got them back. Both games was blowouts for both teams that won. You know what I mean? Now you got you going into week four. Both teams playing well. They're going to see each other again. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be a big-time matchup. This will be one of them games that coaches are gauge kind of where they at early in the season based on, you know, the competition they're playing against. And I'm also sure both coaches, staffs, and players, they had tucked some stuff in their back pocket knowing mm-hmm. they may be able to see the other team uh, later in the season as they get closer to the playoffs. So the first game is Villa St. Joe's at Kingston. That's going to be okay. a good one. Second game I got, St. Ignatius Iggy at Walsh Jesuit. Um, I told you in, the, in show one, <laughs> Iggy is my, you know, that's my upset alert team week to week. Um, and you just been upset. This one of them weeks, I don't feel good about them being my upset pick. Nothing against Iggy. Um, they got a big win last week, so this ain't nothing against Iggy. Right. Walks Jess with playing good ball right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so you got a San Ignatius team, a Division One team with a lot of tradition, got their first win. Um, even though they lost the first two games, they look like they playing better every week. Um, a big time Division One power playing against going to Walsh Jess with playing a Division Two team that we talked about. Earlier, I was telling you off the camera, Avon and Walsh Jess were trying to crack that party code. They mm-hmm. tired of seeing Hoban and Maslin being the uh, the kingpins in Division Two in Northeast Ohio. Um, they want to crack that code. They want to get in there. They're excited about playing St. Ignatius. Um, I've been doing a little bit of research. They're excited about this week, getting a chance Sweet. to play St. Ignatius. And not getting a chance to play them, but St. Ignatius coming to play them at their school. And uh, that's going to be a big-time game. So keep an eye on that, Iggy at Walsh Jesuit. And the last game is a Saturday afternoon game. We got Cincinnati Elder coming down from Cincinnati, traveling to play St. Ed's. Um, they played last year. St. Ed's got them 34-33, um, if I remember correctly. That was the game that brought – Brand. that was the Brandon White game. Okay. That was the game he came from nowhere. Where everybody was like, who is this kid, this young sophomore running back St. Ed's got? Because um, he did it on the stage against Elder. Um, so I'm sure Elder, they want to come back up here in Northeast Ohio and get their get back. It was 34-33. Um, close game. Both teams are Division One teams. They can see each other later in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. So this is really just two big time programs in the state of Ohio. One from Southern Ohio. One from Northeast Ohio. Played last year. Ed's win by one. Um, Brandon White get onto the scene. His breakout game. I know Cincinnati Elder. Unfortunately, I know him too well. Lost mm-hmm. to him in the state championship as a player. They got a lot of tradition in their program, so they right. want to come get some get back. So that's it. That's the three games real quick. I'm sorry. Sorry, nephew. That's why we got nephew over here. I'm sorry, nephew. Our local game. Thank you, nephew. I appreciate that. Lakeview at South Range. All right. Or South Range at Lakeview. I'm sorry. Either way. This this is why I put this one down. Lakeview been playing better. 3-0. Drew McCowan. Shout out to Drew. Drew back over there at Lakeview. He playing well. He had a big game the other night. Um, Last year, Lakeview was 5-5. Was a lot better than the previous year. You can see the Lakeview program building. Slowly mm-hmm. but surely, shout out Coach Bush. You're doing a great job. But the head honcho in their conference is South Range. Um, no matter the division that you in, um, if you if you play in the NEA, if you're in that conference, you know South Range is kind of they, they kind of top dog right now. So what better gauge to see where you are as a football team now in this season and as far as how you where you need to go as far as continuing to build your program right. than playing the best program between them and Struthers right now in the conference and playing them, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm excited to see the results of that game, read about that game, do the research on that game. Lakeview got to be ready to go from snap one. Lakeview got to be ready to go from snap one. You know what this game I'm interested to see? Talk to me. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see Drew McCowan. Okay. I want to see Drew I see McCowan. you looking in the camera. Yeah, go yeah, ahead and talk yeah, to yeah, it. Drew. Go ahead yeah. and talk to I'm it. interested to see Drew McCowan okay. go, to South, go to South Ranch. Okay. Okay, um, Drew came, coming back from Hardy. Right, right. So, this is the game. This is going to be the game where he can take some of that experience playing against the Maslin. Right, playing against the being on bigger stages, those bigger stages, 
And and this is this is a game, Drew. This is your coming out party, right? For uh, Lakeview, Drew. Right. This is this is where you know those five in the morning workouts that we used to be at. Mm-hmm. I want to see it. And then also this year, like you're one of the better players on the team, right? right. So right. they're going to be looking at you to play well anyway. Yeah. And you got to play well from 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 the first whistle against South Range. They're a good team. Mm-hmm. You can't come out in the first quarter. You sputtering. You could look up and it could be twenty one nothing. Right. Um. You want to cut this game in half, so it's going to be important that Drew take care of the ball in the pass game, but it's also going to be important that Drew be able to run the ball and help out his tailbacks as far as moving the chains. They got to cut this game in half somehow, some way. Mm-hmm. If South Range get majority of the possession in the minutes go to South Range, it's going to be a long night. Another key for this game going to be sophomore kicker and punter Easton Bradley. Special teams going to be big. Mm-hmm. You got to. He's going to have to have a great night punting to help flip the field position. And if you do get the chance to have a field goal attempt and get three points, sometimes that's a win against a good team in like South Absolutely. Range. Absolutely. You may have a 12-14 play drive that you don't all the way get in the end zone and score, but you got to settle for three. You got to make sure if we settle for three, we get that three. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, South Range is South Range at this point. Right. You know what I mean? Tristan Toy, um, Gavin Nagy. Aiden Dominguez talked about Dylan Smesco, Luke Starkey. I mean, they 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 got a team. Um, coach Rock is a great coach. They got a great staff, and they're a great team. And they're trying to get back to where they believe they belong as far as winning the state championship. So, absolutely, we got four games this week. Shout out to my nephew. Um, shout out to our production guy over here For getting sure. Coach Stella in line. Sorry about <laughs> that, but yeah, them the four games we got this week. So again, Lakeview South Range, Elder Ed. Iggy Walsh Jesuit, we talked about. And in the first game, we talked about Villa St. Joe's at Kingston. Right. So that's the stellar scope for this week. Keep your eye on them games, baby. Right. 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 Stay locked in between the lines and Coach Stella.